afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And I'm going to start this week off right and list one today that I'm probably going to kick myself in the rear end for selling myself and not keeping. But I'm going to show you my personal favorite style motorhome um, and one, a brand that is very well known as one of the best out there. Um, you know, there's certain brands in a small motorhome that are very hard to find and are widely recognized as the best you've got chinook airstream dynamax and of course coach house platinum and we're going to list the latter one of those today um this is a 2008 coach house platinum 272 xl fs and guys this is a 26 foot long 10 inch small motor home uh, B plus style class C you can call it B plus B class C technically they're called touring motorhomes um, guys these are the best of the best of the best these are not like the majority of the motorhomes you see on the road today these aren't mass produced big box brands these you had to be pretty well financially privileged to buy one of these new these these are not something the average working class RV shopper would buy new. Matter of fact, I just did some comparison shopping on my phone when this was new. You could buy, when this, in 2008, brand new, what this thing cost, you could buy a 38-foot uh, diesel pusher with two slides. Brand new in 2008 for what this thing cost new in 2008. So... It took somebody looking for one of these brand new to buy them and knew what they were, but you got what you paid for. You got an incredible high quality machine that even today is better built than literally 90, 95% of the motorhomes built today in 2022. This is probably better built than 95% than of them. And um, this big one's got 41,880 miles on it. It's got 117 hours on the generator got the motor running i got the generator running got everything on double slides hydraulic slide outs no none of that dual electric motor with the synchronizers that go out like you see in all the newer stuff and guys you know they copied chinook on a lot of things the coach house platinums did uh they use one solid fiberglass shell you've got the ford cabin chassis this is a ford e450 uh, so you got the wider wheelbase, better driving stability, V10 engine, uh, 305 horsepower, 420 pound feet of torque, tons of power for this motorhome. But see everything from the cab back, this right here, besides the cutout for the door and the slide outs is one solid seamless, including the roof besides the cutout for the ACs and the vents, is one seamless piece of fiberglass. I mean, these things were incredible heavy duty build quality. Like I said, built on the uh, E450 Ford. Um, it does have this diamond shield stuff and I'm gonna see if we can get that, do anything with that. And it's just got it around the edges and that's just where it ages. You know, as it ages, it gets darker, it gets cloudy. Um, it's supposed to protect the paint, but it just looks like crap when it gets older. Um, I really don't like that stuff anyway, but the paint looks absolutely perfect underneath it. It's just time consuming to take that stuff off. But, uh, and you know, that's just, that's just, it is what it is. You do have an awning. Of course, you know, it's got a satellite system on the roof. Standard hwh hydraulic leveling jacks in a under 27 foot motorhome no doubt tires look great we drove it several hundred miles dash air is ice cold generators running i got the ducted roof air on blowing icicles multi-stage full body paint i mean they they this is what happens when a motorhome company says you know what let's spare no expense Let's build the nicest motor home we can build because we know our customers can want the best and they can afford to buy the best, like Airstream. 
and uh, let's build it for them. Let's, let's build what they want. We'll let Thor and Four Winds and all those other guys build the stuff for the, for the people who are on a budget. Let's build the best for those that can afford it. Let's build the Mercedes and motorhomes. Well, here it is, guys. This is what you got. And uh, this one probably won't make it through the end of the day for 49.9. This is, for this quality of a coach, is unheard of. Um, Max Air vent covers. Uh, omnidirectional TV antenna. It does have a track vision satellite, but all those things are obsolete now, so don't even worry about that. 4KW on and generator with 117 hours. Um, they don't put the 2.8 on these. They, they put the 4Ks. Now, one thing I am going to point out besides this diamond shield is we are going to get the front seats recovered. They've stuck some uh, seat covers on it. We're going to get all that. Uh, so the front seats will be taken out, shipped off probably take me a couple of weeks to get those seats back they're going to be recovered to match the rest of the upholstery so it will have freshly re reupholstered seats that you won't have to worry about for many many years um 41,000 while well, i'm up here anyway <laughs> 41,801 miles no check engine lights no warning lights uh backup camera works gate great got a touch screen radio dash works great no smoke or pad odors original carpet that looks great Windshield looks great. I mean, just a. Uh, my, I've got a Dynamax. I've got a 25 foot Dynamax with no slide, and this is what I really wanted to buy when I bought mine. But I've got a kid in a car seat, and this particular floor plan, unfortunately, is not set up for a kid in a car seat, or you wouldn't be even be seeing this video because I would have bought this one and uh, you wouldn't be seeing it because th th i was actually looking for either for a chinook a born free or a coach house platinum when i bought my dynamax but i had to have the forward facing seat uh attached to the frame for a car seat and that's hard to find in a motorhome so <laughs> wasn't for that this is what i would have bought because i love this motorhome guys this has got this is i would rather go myself even though i, I mean i don't get, i'm not bragging but i can afford a lot newer motorhome but I would rather buy one that's several years older like this, that's better built than a newer one that's less quality. Even if, you know, even though I can afford more motor home, to me, this is a lot more appealing because I know it's a lot higher quality, if that makes sense. Let's look inside. Steps work great. This unit does have, and these things, there's not many options you can get with these because they come floated. Uh, it does have the optional 1500 watt inverter but as we step inside boy it feels good in here it really does um kind of reminds you of a boat the interior does and the way the cabinets are shaped the rounded design if you've ever been on many boats before like many higher end cruisers and stuff like that that's what the boat that i mean that's what the, not the boat the rv reminds you of especially the bedroom the colors and all that stuff but uh you've got a tv vcr dvd player all that stuff up here surround sound speakers hwh now i actually put this in my dynamax and this makes an incredible difference this has already got it you've got the firestone uh, air ride or which is basically a air cushioned helper springs and you can adjust it this is the one with the just like mine with the front and rear um, uh, helper springs with the built-in compressor that you can actually and i usually keep mine about 30 pounds but you can actually adjust the air pressure from front and rear from right here and like if you're towing something behind you'll tow 5,000 pounds you can actually uh um uh, you can actually, you know, stiffen up the rear end a little bit, give you a little bit better ride, or you can soften it up for when you're driving it without towing something. Uh, you do have, this is the Optima leather sofa. And this is actually a power sofa. You got to switch up here. And basically you move it forward a little bit. And instead of just making like a futon style sofa, you actually, uh, let me move it forward a little bit more. You lower it down, and it's actually got an extension on the back, kind of like a conversion van sofa. 
so you've actually got it may not be a queen bed but it gives you bigger than a full and bring it back and just kind of butt it up against it and you've actually got a bed that probably most 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 couples can sleep in pretty comfortably and of course i got the slide outs out right now but you even when the room is in you can still use this oh, you gotta get your buttons just right <laughs> and these are both the hydraulic slide outs of course Radio works great. Um, got a swivel recliner right here. Solid surface countertop, solid wood cabinets, three burner stove top, built in uh, coffee maker, microwave. Uh, you do have a six cubic foot three way RV refrigerator freezer, so it can run off of a ac dc no i'm not the rock band but the ac dc which is electrical battery or propane big propane tank on board this is a beautiful rv guys man uh, yeah i can see myself using this Oh, this is going to kill me when this one goes, guys. Um, two fantastic vent fans. So if you are going to boondock, it's going to be a lot easier, a lot better. That's a boondocker's best friend. They both got rain sensors. Like I said, no expense was spared to make this as nice as possible. It really wasn't. Um, you got the nice sculptured carpet, original. It's great shape. Uh only thing that surprised me is they got linoleum down instead of, of tile, but hey, they, they, they might have had a reason for that, or I don't know. You know, people, you know, I, I don't build these things. I'm not an engineer. I'm sure they had a logical reason for that because they weren't trying to cut corners on these things, I promise you, for what they, for what the, I mean, these things were about $170,000 back in 2008 prices. Today, $170,000 in 2008 is about the equivalent of probably a little over three hundred thousand dollars today when you factor in inflation so huge difference between back then and i mean guys i remember buying uh, i bought a house in 2008 for a uh, for ninety five thousand dollars that today is probably well over two hundred thousand so um wow boy that air feels good too ducted air in this little guy and even though this is all at less than 27 foot, you still got a double basin sink. Core in countertops, three burner stove top. This one hasn't been cleaned either. Generator, 117.7 hours. Microwave. Uh, like I said, refrigerator, freezer, already starting to get cold in the back. Clean doesn't show a lot of use. There's your extra slide out control, water heater. Um, it is a gas electric water heater. There is your thermostat for your heat and air and it does have the heat strip as well as a 30,000 BTU furnace in this little guy. They want you to be comfortable no matter what time of year you are camping in this RV whether it's summertime or wintertime. And uh, you've got a TV back here, pretty good closet space. I mean, you're, you gotta keep in mind, you're in a small motor home with a stationary Queen Island bed. So obviously you're gonna give up a little bit of closet space, but the rounded looks, the rounded corners on the bed, the colors, it does remind you of a boat, at least to me. Um, coach house etching everywhere. There's your second fantastic vent fan for the bedroom, privacy curtain. But they didn't waste any space, and that's what I like about it. I mean, nothing in here is uh, nothing in here is wasted. Big closets, pantries, and the bathroom. And believe it or not, sorry, this air might be a little bit loud above my head. This has actually got a bathroom. 
with a separate shower. You've got and actually got an elongated uh, RV toilet with a separate shower. Now, is it a huge shower? Of course not. This is not a huge motorhome. This is a small motorhome. But it's still big enough to take a shower. It's a lot bigger than most this size. You know, most motorhomes this size have. And the fact that you're not blocking access to the rest of the RV while you're taking a shower means a lot too. This is a really, really cool motorhome, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm, I'm really got a little um, envy on this one. See, I like this style of motorhome because I like not having the cab over because it's smoother, less wind noise going down the road. Even though I'm not, I don't buy an RV to save fuel money. I, I'm not, I'm not that presumptuous. I, I know that. You, you drive a you drive a 27 foot box on wheels going down the road. You're gonna you're gonna spend more on gas, but these are a little bit better on fuel than say a uh, the, a regular Class C with a cab over. But you do lose a little bit of sleeping. But hey, if it's just two or three people, you don't need that extra sleeping anyway. Um, I looked them up online because I was kind of curious because I know what I what kind of fuel mileage I get on mine. Which I mean, I just put gas in it and enjoy it anyway. I don't, I don't really pay it that much attention. But um, from what I'm reading online, uh, you know, a, a usual Class C with E10 about this size, you're going to get eight, nine miles a gallon, six to six to nine. Let's just say that. And it all depends on how you drive, where you drive, and the most important factor is wind and speed. Now, if you're going to if you're going to drive 75, 80 miles an hour, you're going to you're going to suck gas down like crazy. However, if you drive right, see, I've gotten in the habit. I only drive about 65 miles an hour in my motorhome, regardless. And, and, and a lot of times I drive less than that. I hit that cruise control. I'll, I'll, I might drive 62, 63, right lane. I enjoy the drive, the scenery. I don't want to have to worry about keeping up for everybody else. I let them go around me. That's why I hit the right lane. I take it easy. I, you know, I'm not in a hurry. It's safer. It's better on my motor home. It's put less wear and tear on my motor home. It's better on fuel, and it's less stressful driving to me anyway. I, I you know. You know, if I get into like a city like Atlanta or something like that, I might go up to 70, but that's about it. Um, but, um, but guys, if you drive right in this one, from what I'm reading online, like do like I do, drive about 65 and just take it easy and you, you're, you'll get better than your average Class C. You might get 10, maybe even 11 miles per gallon is what I'm estimating. Again, depends on, you know, if you're driving flat land, uphill, downhill, you know, if you keep it to the floor all the time, obviously you're going to burn a lot more gas than just driving normal, conservatively, and just taking it easy. You know, guys, and I always tell people, if you have to drive 75, 80, 85, 90 miles an hour, drive a car and stay in a hotel room. You, you probably don't want an RV or don't need an RV, and I have met people before guys that are physically or me are not physically but mentally incapable of driving slow and um i'm not trying to sound like an old man because i mean i drive my car like everybody else you know or my truck or whatever i happen to be driving my regular normal vehicle but when i'm in an rv i'm in a whole different mindset and you just have to develop that skill um or if i'm towing a trailer or a fifth wheel or a travel trailer for the lot or for whatever reason i I, I, I have my own different set of driving skills and driving etiquette, I guess, is the best way to describe it. And um, cause I enjoy, you know, I know a lot of people hate driving. They love getting to where they're going, but they hate driving. I'm, I guess I'm the rarity. I enjoy both. I enjoy the journey as well as the destination. That's why I love RVing. That's why I always have. Heck, if I if I see something I want to, if I'm driving somewhere and I see a sign for an attraction or or tourist trap, 
And I say, hey, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's go check it. I, I'm, a, I'm never in that much of a hurry that I can't stop and check it out for a little bit. Believe me, I'm in never in that much of a hurry that I can't stop it. And I've, and I've discovered some really cool stuff over the years doing that. And guys, that's what's fun about an RV. It's just discovering new things. Sometimes just not having an agenda, not having a plan, just jumping in the RV and driving somewhere and just seeing where the road takes you is can be one of the best adventures you've ever had. Sometimes. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> um, maybe that's the nomad in me. But anyway, really cool guys. Sometimes the best plans are no plans. So, uh, and that's what I like about a motorhome this size is that you don't have to have a big parking space to park it. It's not as wide as most of these other ones. It's not as tall, it's not as long. You can maneuver something like this and get it into parking lots a lot better than say a, a 32 foot class C or a 38 foot class A like I used to have. I mean, it, and, and, and you learn to carry a lot less stuff because you're in a lot less motor home and, and but still this one here you carry a lot of stuff in here it's got a lot more storage than mine does and it's only two foot longer but mine doesn't have slides this one does so um yeah guys this this is one right here that whoever buys it i think is going to keep a very long time because this is the people that own these Chinooks and owns these uh, Airstreams and Born Freeze and Coach House Platinums know what they have and they keep them for a very long time. That, that's why you very rarely see these hit the market. Because people that have these, they know how hard they are to find and they hang on to them. And I don't blame them. Um, I would too. I would too. If I owned this thing, I'd probably keep it for 10, 12 years or longer. Anyway, guys, if you're interested in this motorhome, give us a call at 706-965-7929. Financing is available with approved credit and down payment. If you want to know the latest rates, terms, interest, like rates, terms, interest rate, down payment requirements, credit requirements, call, talk to one of my salespeople. I don't keep up with any of that anymore. 706-965-7929. Uh, Something rare like this for under 50 grand in this good a shape, I highly recommend leaving a deposit on it because if you don't, somebody else will. This is the kind of motor home that somebody will call from California or Washington State or Canada or anywhere and buy and come here and get and take home and feel like they won the lottery. It, it really is because this is one of those motor homes that you're not going to find locally. You're, you're going to have to travel to buy and be lucky you found it. And remember guys, these seats will be out for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so make your, coordinate with your salesperson accordingly. Um, if you're wanting to take it home, um, you know, if you if you happen to buy this thing before these seats come out and you want to take it like it is, we will discount the price, what it costs us to have those seats recovered. Just get with your salesperson. If you want to just go ahead and take it, you don't want to wait, or you may want to wait and get the seats done. I had them do my seats and my Dynamax. They look great. It's well worth it. But uh, a lot of people don't have that kind of time or not that patient. So um, make sure that uh, you coordinate everything with your salesperson. And, and, you know, now if they're already taken out at the postery shop, obviously that, that offers null and void because they've already tore into it, and so there's no discount available. 49.9 Haggle Free Firm, if you're interested. We do guarantee the following systems to work, the slide outs, uh, the generator, the roof air, the refrigerator, freezer, then the water systems and the steps and the drivability. Everything else is sold as is. Of course, water systems also include uh, uh, water heater, water pump, spigots, toilet, things like that. I've actually got the water pump on and there's no leaks in it, so we're good to go. I just hadn't checked the water heater. But, um, and, and guys, normally somebody that owns these are, you know, the kind of person that owns a Coach House Platinum like a Chinook or experienced RV owners, they generally take very good care of their stuff. So you very rarely on these higher end units have any major problems with them. And of course, everything else is sold as is. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's how we keep our prices down. That's why we're selling a, a $60,000, $70,000 motorhome for under fifty. 
Um, so you need to either come do your own inspection or hire a third party inspector before, before finalizing the deal so you know what to expect and what you're going to have to fix before you buy it. We do, we, what we do guys, we make sure the major stuff works. Again, generator, roof air, uh, steps, drivability, uh, refrigerator, freezer, water systems, everything else. We, the major stuff we, make, we take care of and make sure it works at time of sale, slide outs, everything else. We leave the Mickey Mouse stuff to you. You know, any RV you buy, you're gonna to have to work on. And of course, we're gonna cover the front seats. Um, we leave the Mickey Mouse stuff to you um, any RV you buy you're going to work on whether it's new or used it doesn't matter the brand name it doesn't matter the style the type the year model you're going to work on it that's just part of owning an RV if anybody any tells you any different they're going to lie to you you're all the time you're going to be doing one of three things or all three of them you're either going to be doing repairs maintenance or, or up, upgrades all the time you're going to have one of those three things or more than one of those three things uh, or two or three of those three things repairs maintenance or upgrades so keep that in mind it's part of owning one guys you know it's uh, RVing is a is a joy but like anything else in life there is the upkeep to have that joy anyway Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's a long one, but this is just a cool motor home. I don't get to film one of these very often. Um, like I said, a different time in my life, I would have bought this one. Um, but uh, this is this is a cool one. Buy it. Whoever buys this thing, you're getting a, a very fine motor home at a very fine price. A great price. A bargain price and getting a motor home that's just an incredible build quality smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video feel free to comment share on social media thank you so much for watching guys it's coach house platinum it's been a real real treat for me to film this one and review it spend some time in it before and after getting on camera um always is guys it really on these older well-built coaches they just they have character they have build quality you just don't see in the newer ones guys and i love it thanks again for watching and uh hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification button we do offer local and long distance delivery for two dollars a loaded mile and that's one way we don't charge for the return trip can't get any cheaper than that with fuel like it is and that's us paying fuel, my driver's pay, hotel room if needed, and plus we pay to get my driver back home from wherever you want to deliver to. So just figure up $2 a mile from 5568 Battlefield Parkway in Ringgold, Georgia. And that's how much we're gonna to charge to deliver it to you. And we will not charge for the return trip. All the other dealers charge three to $5 a mile and charge coming and going. They charge two ways, we just charge one. Thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate each and every one of y'all again. Uh, hit that subscribe button. We take trade-ins. And uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.